I think small businesses and startups are a really exciting bunch of people to work with and you've got to have a hunger inside you that you really want to solve a problem. It's a journey of ups and downs. It's an emotional roller coaster. You have the sort of that little voice in the back of your head going, oh my God, somebody's gonna find me out soon. What am I gonna do? The imposter syndrome's ringing in your ears. So the trick is to really understand how you can actually build a business model around that gift and capability that you have. It doesn't matter if you're a one-man band. You may only be one person working out of a cafe in Sydney. You can have a following of hundreds of thousands of people on social media. What matters is the value that you're actually delivering to the client. So most small business owners focus on being everything to everybody. So the first thing in scaling, ironically, is actually focus, being very clear about who is my market. But as you start to scale, you want to make sure that actually that marketing and technology is seamless, working together to deliver your customer the best possible experience. Your market could be millions of people potentially, and yet I'm staggered by how many small businesses who still carry their customer information around in their heads. And yet there are some great easy technology tools out there which enable you to capture your CRM. There's something about um, going out on a journey where you don't necessarily know where it's going to end up. So yes, we're probably a strange sort of person who goes on that path, but it's worth it. I'm Sarah Denby-Jones, Small Business Marketing Mentor.